You can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week, as we wait for Guilds of Ravnica to come and shake up standard to give us rotation and tons of sweet new cards, we are heading to Modern for a deck that I am pretty excited for. I think this deck could be one of those decks that is near the top as far as level of competition for decks in modern on a budget this is a deck i'm calling 12 bolt red and while i did make some changes to the deck to make sure it was in under budget the original idea and credit goes to relicom who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive modern league on magic online so yes i did make changes because it was a bit over budget but the basic framework of the deck did come from relicom anyway the idea of the deck is pretty simple we are looking to play as many lightning bolts as possible. I mean, lightning bolt's a great card. Why not just play 12 of them and trust that 12 bolts and a little bit of support will be enough to close out the game. So a quick reminder before we break down 12 bolt for modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy budget magic in general, it would be amazing of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk 12 bolt starting with the namesake card lightning bolt so lightning bolt is widely held as the best burn spell ever printed one mana three damage doesn't really get any more efficient than that it is a very very powerful card and this deck the main theory is what if we could just play all lightning bolts so the idea is not only do we have lightning bolt we have two additional bolts giving us 12 bolts in total so along with lightning bolt proper we have wizard's lightning and fiery temper which are both technically three mana but with some careful deck building we can turn them into actual lightning bolts where we cast them for just a single mana wizard's lightning if we have a wizard it's a lightning bolt fiery temper if we can madness it so discard it and then cast it it is a literal lightning bolt so the combination of lightning bolt wizard's lightning fiery temper means we have have a massive 12 cards that deal three damage for a single mana but we got to talk a little bit about how we actually make wizards lightning and fiery temper into lightning bolts like lightning bolt itself is easy it's just always one mana three damage the other two take a bit of work so for wizards lightning we are playing a handful of wizards in our deck we're not going crazy we're not wizard tribal we have a total of 10 wizards who happen to just work really well with the theme of our deck anyway being aggressive red creatures so get to lava rudder is basically our goblin guide it's not a goblin guide on turn one but it's often a goblin guide without the drawback of giving your opponent free lands on occasion as early as turn two just a hasty two two for one soul scar mage is really sweet in this deck not only does it have prowess so as we are casting all of our million lightning bolts it's getting bigger but it gives us a way to deal with bigger creatures if our opponent plays a reality smasher any one of our bolts can't kill it, but with Soul Scar Mage out, we can put some negative one, negative one counters on it in a 2 2 Reality Smasher. Not really that scary. We can always finish it off in the future. And then Grim Lava Mancer takes advantage of the fact that our deck is actually pretty good at getting cards in the graveyard. And then we can just keep throwing shocks, I guess. Not quite lightning bolts, but two damage at our opponent's face repeatedly. Plus, these dead cards make sure that Wizard's Lightning gonna be just one mana and a true lightning bolt as consistently as possible. It's as far as Fiery Temper, this is where the deck gets pretty fun. The Flame of Keld and also Faithless Suiting give us easy ways to discard cards. So Flame of Keld is kind of our finisher as well. It is absurd in this deck. It probably deserves to be in the name. It is that good, that important. We have so many cheap cards. All the Lightning Bolts, so many One Drops. Our deck is extremely efficient. So with Flame of Keld, we can just dump our hand, cast it, discard our hand, hopefully discard Fiery Temper along the way to throw it at our opponent's face as a Lightning Bolt, and then we get to draw extra cards to refuel our hand and then eventually add two damage to all of our burn spells when we get the third lore counter which means all of our lightning bolts become one mana lava axes five damage to our opponent's face for a single mana means usually just a couple of them will close out the game and then faithless looting gets rid of extra land stocks our graveyard for things like it to lava runner for our grim lava mancer also gives us a way to discard fiery temper so on turn two for example we can faithless looting draw some 
cards. Discard among our two cards, Fiery Temper, which we're not even really discarding it, because we can Madness it for one mana, Lightning Bolt our opponent's face, so it's kind of a free discard as well. So that's how we turn Fiery Temper into an actual Lightning Bolt. The rest of the deck, we have a couple more one-drops to work well with our Be Efficient Get In Damage plan. Monastery Swift Spear, basically a hasty version of Soul Scar Mage without the weird negative one, negative one counter upside. Bomb at Courier, more haste, another way to take advantage of the fact that we empty our hands so quickly. Play it on turn one, start attacking, exiling cards. Eventually by like turn three or four, our hand will be empty. Hopefully with our Lightning Bolts, we can keep forcing through our Bomb at Courier. And then we just refill our hand, get a bunch more action, a bunch more Lightning Bolts to close out the game. We also have a couple more burn spells. Gut Shot looks strange, but it kind of does two things. First off, it's actually just oddly good against some decks in Modern right now. We have like Hardened Scales Affinity, Normal Affinity being really good. In fact, is reasonable. There's a lot of decks playing things like Champion of the Parish, Humans, or Birds of Paradise, Noble Hierarch, tons of different decks. So there's a lot of things that one damage kills. And then, hilariously, once we ultimate our Flame of the Keld, Gushot becomes a free Lightning Bolt because we get plus two damage. So it's actually just three damage for zero mana, assuming we can pay the two life. And then Insult Injury uh, forces damage through things that prevent it, and then we can aftermath it from the graveyard. I think the main idea is it's something we can discard to our Flame of the Keld, discard to our Faithless Looting, and then use it as like a weird version of Searing Blaze, sort of, from our graveyard as injury for three mana, but kind of a weird flex slot there. As far as the mana base, 18 mountains, as simple as simple can be. Sideboard wise, Goblet Shade Whirler comes in to deal with like Lingering Souls deck. Anything going wide with a bunch of 1-1s, one those decks would be able to block our creatures for a long time. Goblin Chain Whirler just cleans it up, dealing 3 damage to everything if the Ultimate Flame of the Keld is actually really good. It combos with our Soul Scar Mage as well. Young Pyromancer is for going wide. If we want to try to go wide, make a bunch of blockers or eventually attackers, it's very strong there. Smuggler's Copter, a little bit resilient against things like Sweepers that could wipe away our board since it's not in creature form, unless we're crewing it up to go attacking or blocking. So if our opponent has Anger of the Gods or Pyroclasm, it's a threat that survives those type of removal spells. Dab Big Sphere helps against combo. Tormod's Crypt to deal with graveyard decks. Spite of Mogus, a little strange, but basically our Swords to Plowshares. We can get a lot of things in our graveyard with all of our Lightning Bolts, our Faithless Looting, our Flame of the Keld. And then Spite of Mogus is often just going to kill like a 4 or 5 toughness creature for 1 mana and give us a scry along the way. And that is 12 Bolt for Modern, and that is our Budget Magic deck for this week. So I'm definitely excited to give this deck a shot. It's playing a lot of sweet cards. It is Burn-ish, but it feels a little bit different than Burn. It's definitely not your traditional Burn deck. I mean, Flame of the Kelds and Faithless Lootings and Gut Shots and tons of craziness going on, plus the weird Lightning Bolt sub-theme. So I think this deck's going to be fun, and I wouldn't be surprised to find out that it's actually pretty powerful. So anyway, let's get to the gameplay so you can see how 12 Bolt works in modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Alright, budget magic time. Playing some 12 bolt in modern, and uh, alright. Well, we'll keep bolt number two, I guess. Probably gonna want a flame of the cow eventually. Island for our opponent. Well, mountain and bowmat courier. Start getting frisky. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Dark Slug Shores. Search for Iskanda. Yup. Opponent passes. We'll play the Mountain. Get in with Bowmat Courier. Play Soul Scar Mage. Play Swift Spear. Opponent. <laughs> Archive Trap. Oh, this is, this is easy mode. I don't think Mill has any chance of beating us. We're just like better Mill. We did miss a point of damage with this Swift Spear. I was wondering if we need to leave up Bowmat Courier, but yeah, and then we left a point of damage on the table. I do not think it's going to be relevant against Mill. I think we just win in like two turns. Next turn we can double Wizard's Lightning, and then the following turn we can sack Bomat Courier to discard Fiery Temper. Mesmeric Orb. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, we start getting milled a bit. Play the Mountain. Go to combat. Attack with everything. Get a card under Bomat Courier. Wizard's Lightning our opponent. Prowess, prowess. Wizard's Lightning our opponent. Prowess, prowess. Hit our opponent down to five. Yup, pass the turn. Alright, opponent. Well, I hope you have something pretty good. Polluted Delta cracked. Get to Swamp. I guess they need Crypt Incursion to, like, gain a bunch of life and 
Actually, we only have one creature in the graveyard. They need us to mill several creatures off this Mesmeric Orb, and then our opponent to have Crypt Incursion. Damnation, all right. Well, we are gonna sack. We cannot Madness, unfortunately. But we still get to draw a bunch of cards. Opponent passes. We get milled. If we looting into exactly Lightning Bolt, we win. Or Gut Shot. Do we go for it? Uh, let's looting. Discard Fiery Temper. Oh, I guess this does it as well. Haste Creature also does it. Discard Wizard's Lightning. Madness Bolt number million. Vomit Courier. Mountain, get in for one. And the one point of damage we left on the table did not come back to bite us. Yeah, this feels like it should just be a really good matchup. <laughs> like, I don't know how Burn... I don't know how Burn keeps up with what we're doing. Or, well, Mill, which is basically bad Burn. Do we want to change anything? We might just have the literal, like, best setup for dealing with, with Mill. Young Pyromancers, I guess they have Damnations. Not super stoked about Insult to Injury. Let's just run it back. I think we are just very heavily favored. Um, all right. I mean, we got one drops in Flame Macal. We don't really have any spells. Polluted Delta. I think we just want to one drop, one drop, one drop. Flame Macal, go from there. Opponent, passing. We'll play the Mountain, play Soulscar Mage. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Watery Grave. Tapped. Down to 19. Every little bit helps. We're not going to miss a point of damage the rest of this match. That's my solemn vow. <laughs> it is kind of fun to just kill people sometimes. I always complain about burn decks, but then whenever I play a deck like this, I actually really enjoy it. It's kind of nice to like not be the person that's dirtling and drawing your whole deck and counting your library because you're afraid you're going to mill yourself out. Sometimes it's nice to just be like, I'm going to throw lightning bolts at your face. Take that. <laughs> Can you stop it? <laughs> there, is, there is a certain beauty to decks like this. Bone it. Uh, one mode collective brutality. Interesting. I am surprised they did not try to maximize that. Well, mountain, soul scar mage, get to lava runner. Pass the turn. Next turn we can flame the cow. Discard fiery temper, madness fiery temper. Depending on what we draw. Hedron crab. All right, opponent's gonna get their mill on. Field of ruin. Not good against us. We are 100% basic mountains. Opponent mills looting wizards lightning land. And passes. Wizard's Lightning. Hmm. Well, go to combat. Attack. All right, well, I mean, Wizard's Lightning your face, I guess. Play the Mountain. We'll just wait another turn on Flame of the Keld. Throwing away a Lightning Bolt doesn't feel great. Cycles, Visions of Beyond, sure. Opponent. Looking sadly at their Field of Ruin. Glimpse. Mills a bunch. Yep. Shaldock Isle. Mills a bit more. I wonder if we should ever consider killing Hedron Crab. Opponent passing. We'll play the Mountain. Play Flame of the Keld. Trigger Prowess. Discard our hand. Madness. Ugh. Yeah, let's go face. Hit our opponent down to nine. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent's gonna chump anyway. Down to seven. Pass the turn. They need Crypt Incursion. I think that's their only relevant card. If they find Crypt Incursion, then we're going to regret not bringing in Graveyard Hate. One creature, two creature, three, four, five. So they would gain 15. Ugh, that's a lot. That's back up over 20. We are going to start drawing extra cards. And we do have Faithless Looting. So maybe we can set up doing something crazy when this gets the third lore counter. We also just have some random damage in the graveyard, like insult injury. This deck seems sweet. Manic scribe. All right. Gonna keep the milling going. Ugh. Three action cards milled. Okay. Opponent passes. Come on, Flame McKeld. Opponent mills us. Wizard's Lightning. Two more cards. Mountain, Mountain. No. Let's just. Faithless Looting. Trigger Prowess. Discard. Mountain. 
mountain. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent blocks. Yep. Murderous cuts. All right. Play Soul Scar Mage. Pass the turn. Well, this is a turn. Opponent needs to do something big here. Or we should have lethal next turn. Even just Aftermath Injury Wizard's Lightning is enough to be lethal. So our opponent needs something very impactful. The Shell Dock Isle is a little scary if they can mill us. They can, like, mill us with Manic Scribe, turn on Shell Dock Isle, cast something. And if that something is Crypt Incursion, that something would beat us. Oh boy, they just have Crypt Incursion. Up to 34. Okay, well that gives our opponent a lot of time to kill us. Opponent passes. Flame of the Keld does its thing. So now we... Injury. Kill Manic Scribe. Wizard's Lightning. Go attacking. Oh man, that bought our opponent a lot of time though. Down to 16, but they don't need much to mill us out. Yeah, that Crypt Incursion was brutal. If we deal like... 50 some damage here that would be pretty impressive i guess it would show the power of this deck if we actually can 50 our opponent for the win glimpse yep yeah i don't think we can find enough damage opponent passes well play grim lava mancer play flame of keld fiery temper surgically extracts fiery temper i mean i'm guessing our opponent just has lethal like lethal mill all right, go attacking. Hit our opponent to 10. So we managed to deal 40 damage this game, but 40 is not going to be enough because of that Crypt Incursion. So this top deck of Swamp for an Archive Trap. Damnation. Okay. Well, we're not dead yet. Mountain. We'll play Bowmat Courier. Play Get to Lava Runner. Go attacking. Hit our opponent to 7. Get a card under Bowmat Courier. Pass the turn. No mail. No mail. Unfortunately, I think we have a lot of Flame Accalds left in our deck. Murderous Cut. Well, I mean, we will sack. Draw more Mountains. Shaldock Isle. What's our opponent been slow rolling? Another Crypt Incursion. <laughs> Never ending Crypt Incursions. Bomat Courier. All right. All right. So we are going to change up our sideboard a bit. Opponent have brought in a lot of Crypt Incursions. So we are going to go down Insult to Injury. Go down a couple of gut shots and go up the Tormod scripts and try it like that. So Tormod script just allows us to let that sit on the battlefield and fizzle our opponent's life gain. If our opponent cannot gain life, they cannot beat us. Uh, all right, we'll keep this. We got some bolts. We got a faithless looting. Hopefully we find a flame of Keld. Well, let's start with mountain soul skirmish. Next turn we can swift spear lightning bolt. Then the next turn we can looting fiery temper. Flooded strand for our opponent. Opponent cracks it. Island. And Hedron Crab. All right. Well, play the mountain. Play Monastery Swift Spear. Go attacking. And, yeah, let's kill Crab. Hit our opponent to 15. Pass the turn. Polluted Delta. Opponent cracks it. Down to 14. Swamp. And Glimpse. Does some milling. Sure. Opponent passes. Ooh, get to Lava Runner. Well, lead with Faithless Looting. Prowess Prowess. Ugh. Discard Fiery Temper discard mountain madness fiery temper prowess prowess play the mountain play lava runner go attacking and pass the turn and our opponent is pretty close to dead on turn three and opponent scoops it up oh -hoo 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 -hoo! all right all right all right uh well game two we could see the downside if our opponent could gain 50 life we have trouble but that was pretty impressive for essentially a standard deck whoo sweet all right budget magic time we are playing some flaming 12 bolt <laughs> in modern and this hand's fine we only got one land but as far as one landers go it's not the worst uh let's just bowmat courier start attacking Hit our opponent. We would really like to draw another land so we can play two one drops next turn. That would make this hand much smoother. Flooded Strand for our opponent. Cracks it. Grabs an island. And Howling Mine. All right. Well, there's a land and we get a free draw. Well, play the Mountain. Play Monastery Swift Spear. Play Soul Scar Mage. Go attacking. 
I'm guessing our opponent's trying to take infinite turns. So our challenge is going to be killing our opponent before they can go infinite. Serum Visions. Yep. One on top. Island. Opponent. Passing. We're drawing extra cards. We'll play the Mountain. Play Bomat Courier. Go to combat. Attack. Uh, gut shot our opponent. Boomerang bounces Soul Scar Mage. Well, play Soul Scar Mage. Play Grim Lava Mancer. Pass the turn. Opponent. I would not be surprised if they had a Miracle on top. Uh, extra turn Miracle. Yep. Oh, they had the full combo. All right. Well, good running, opponent. Good running. Serum Visions setting it up. So opponent gets an extra turn. And we might just be too slow. With the Howling Mind out, our opponent might be able to just go off from here. Halimar Depths. And we can't really, uh, we can't really kill our opponent next turn. We've drawn all the creatures and none of the bolts. If our opponent stacks another Miracle on top of their deck, then I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Opponent, do they have all the Temporal Masteries on top? They do not. Draws two. But our opponent can just proceed to win from here, most likely. Like, five mana is extra turn mana. Yep, time warp. So our opponent should be able to win from here. Untaps. That extra turn spell being on top was a pretty big boon for our opponent. Opponent. Thinking things over. Tap land. And passes. So they probably have cryptic. Draw an extra card. We'll play the mountain. Lightning bolt our opponent. Play flame of the cow. We do have lethal, but it does not win through a fog or through a cryptic. Prowess, prowess. Discard our hand. Giga Drowse. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see. Opponent taps down a bunch of stuff. Enough that our opponent lives. We get to madness. Hit our opponent. Oh, man. Yeah, Giga Drowse also does it. No, well, get in with Lava Mancer. And now we just pass. I mean, I expect that our opponent combos off and wins, but we'll see. Howling Mind draws an extra card. Halimar Depths. Oh, man. Well, this is a little disappointing. I feel like our deck should be able to to just kill our opponent. I don't know how they have a chance in this matchup, but turn two Howling Mind, and we just did not draw enough spells. We managed to draw lots and lots of creatures, but not very many spells. We can draw like seven cards next turn, and the problem is I don't think we live. All right, Terminus. Well, that gives us hope. We're drawing a bunch of cards. If we just draw two bolts, we win. Bomb at Courier. Extra card from Howling Mine. Two cards. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait. This works. Bomb at Courier. Oh, my goodness, it works. We get to discard our hand. Okay, we got there. <laughs> get in with Bomb at Courier. Oh, my God. Thank God it was Bomb at Courier. I thought our opponent janked us out. Hit our opponent to four. Sack Bomat Courier just to discard double fiery temper and the bolts came through the bolts came through it took a minute but they came through oh man i thought our opponent had us i think we got a little lucky that they somehow did not have an extra turn spell when they had all that mana and then we got a little lucky to finally draw all of, all of our bolts oh my goodness that match that match up all right uh okay what do we have against uh, infinite turns I think we want to be just as fast and as low to the ground as possible. I could see bringing in Smuggler's Copter for Gut Shot, though. Now that I said fast and low to the ground as possible, we're going to cut free spells for cards that are actually expensive for our deck. Preventing damage might be relevant. This deck could be playing Fogs. Yeah, let's try it like that. Wow. All right. I feel a little better that we, we snuck out that win. Now we just got to win one of two after sideboarding instead of both. Uh, okay. We'll keep this. Little creature heavy, but we got our Momat Courier to get things started. We have one drop, one drop, one drop. Opponent's on the play, but thankfully we got a game to give. Like, worst case, we lose this game, and we still have one more to try. Get in with Momat Courier, hit our opponent. Turn five is normally the big turn. Most often, if our opponent can get to five mana, that's when they can take all the turns. Although last turn time, it didn't work for our opponent. Eye of Nowhere bounces our land. All right, well, play a mountain play soul scar mage we are not a deck that bouncing lands is extremely effective against i mean i guess it slows us down a little but it's not really that effective of a plan island boomerang opponent passes well mountain bowman courier go attacking our opponent also does need some sort of card draw on the battlefield if they are going to 
ticks down to draw a card. Well, we can just kill this Jace. Opponent passes. Well, play the Mountain. Play Smuggler's Copter. Pump Soulscar. Kill Jace. Hit our opponent. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Nykthos. All right. Big Jace. Well, that too dies to something. Brainstorms. Without card draw on the battlefield, our opponent can't just win the game. It's... They will run out of extra turn spells eventually before they win. So if we can just keep sniping the Jaces, opponent passes, gut shot. All right, so play the Mountain, play Grim Lafamancer, Crew Smuggler's Copter. How much damage do we have? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is this lethal? Do we have lethal? Uh, do we have to count this? So this is two, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so gut shot our opponent. I think we just have lethal. Go to combat, attack our opponent, exile, exile, loot with smuggler's copter, discard fiery temper, madness fiery temper at our opponent, and this should be exaxes. Down to eight. And we have eight power of attackers, and yeah, I mean, nice Jaces, you're dead. <laughs> the power of playing 12 lightning bolts. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, sweet. Well, 12 bolts, good. All right, budget magic time. We are playing 12 bolt in modern, and we're going to keep this. Um, We would like to draw land number two. That would make us happy. Land number two in this hand is pretty great. Land number three would also be fine. And then just no more lands forever. See what our opponent's up to. I mean, land number two lets us just dump our entire hand and then flame of the Cal. Vern Catacombs cracks it. Forest. Yes. Yes. Gut shot. Gut shot value. Uh, let's see what we draw here. Untap. That's a land. Well, play the land. Play... Soul Scar Mage. Get in with Bomat Courier. Hit our opponent. <laughs> Gush out the birds. <laughs> got ya. Pass the turn. Oh man. Oh man, it gives me great joy to gush out of birds. Oh, that is awesome. When you got opponent. Bitter Blossom. Oh, well. Okay, let's uh, lightning bolt our opponent's face. Untap. Hmm. Let's see. Let's. Gut shot our opponent's face. Um, and then I guess we just flame of the Keld. I mean, we don't get any value from the fiery temper, but we get a flame of the Keld. We hit our opponent down to seven on turn three. Bitter Blossom down to six. An opponent just scoops it up. Cannot beat it. Cannot beat it. Okay. Uh, that was pretty spectacular. Uh, as far as sideboarding, hmm, do we want to change anything? I'm not 100% sure what our opponent's playing. Chain Whirler actually seems pretty good against all of our opponent's random tokens. Maybe we go up Chain Whirler, go down Insult to Injury, go down Grim Lava Mancer, and Grim Lava Mancer? Yeah, let's try it like that. That seems fine. Without knowing what our opponent's doing, this seems like a reasonable plan. Well, all right. Land heavy, but we got tons of ways to filter through our deck. Faithless Looting, actually pretty helpful. Faithless Looting makes this much better. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Avacyn's Pilgrim. Man, Goblin Chain Whirler seems awesome against our opponent's deck. Play the Mountain. And let's play Soul Scar Mage. We can Looting next turn. Pass the turn. Might as well try to get in some extra Soul Scar Mage damage. Temple Garden, untapped. Nissa makes a plant. All right, opponent passes. Well, play the mountain, play Monastery Swift Spear, play Faithless Looting, trigger, trigger, discard mountain, discard mountain, both at Nissa. Opponent blocks. All right, pass the turn. Opponent, Collector Brutality, discards Lingering Souls, kills Souls Carmade. Cannot take anything from our hand, though. Makes a plant. And birds, oh man, Chain Whirler would be so good. Fiery Temper. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to play this a little slow. 
and just fiery temper Nissa. If we can keep our opponent from being able to pump their tokens, then Goblin Chain Whirler is a good draw basically for the rest of the game. Like, potentially just a game winning draw if we can just play, if we can find one. And we're going to get to start churning through our deck here eventually. Tap land. Uh oh. Gideon. Makes a knight. All right. Opponent. Passing. We'll play a mountain. Play a swift spear. Play flame of the geld. Discard our hand. Attack at Gideon. Ugh. Gideon embleming is another way our opponent can get things out of goblin chain whirler range. Blocks. Blocks. That's my fear. Once they do that, then things become much more challenging. All right. Plays a land. Flashes back Lingering Souls. How do they manage their Gideon? I guess the upside is they probably aren't expecting Chain Whirler and realizing that's a thing they might need to play around. If we could just draw Chain Whirler off of this Flame of the Cald here, it's so good. Lightning Bolt. Draw two. Soul Scar Mage Wizard's Lightning. No Chain Whirler. Uh, what is our plan? Well, let's Faithless Looting. Trigger. Trigger. Discard Fiery Temper. Discard Mountain. Madness Fiery Temper. Go face. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Blocks. All right. Well, kill some stuff. Pass the turn. We're a burn spell away from winning next turn. That's what we need. We can 10 our opponent with Wizard's Lightning Lightning Bolt. Any burn spell here is game. Opponent counters on the dorks. Come on, deck. Give us that burn spell. Gets in. Down 18. Mountain. Double damage. Well, play Soul Scar Mage. Attack our opponent. Opponent blocks. And block. Well, we will Wizard's Lightning. Lightning Bolt. Opponent scoops it up! They weren't dead! They they weren't dead! They weren't actually dead. We were a damage short. Were we going to draw a damage mountain? All right. That would have probably been fast enough. I don't think our opponent could have killed us before we found the fiery temper. And 12 bolt coming through! Sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some 12 bolt. Flaming 12 bolt. <laughs> In modern. And we got no bolts, but we have a lot of one drops. So we'll give this a shot. Bomb at Courier, get in with Bomb at Courier. Start drawing some cards. We wouldn't mind finding, like, some sort of spell to turn on these Get Two Lava Runners. Mountain. Ooh. Some sort of mirror. Opponent. Gets it. Oh my god. Bomb at Tron. Okay. And we'll see. <laughs> play a mountain. Play Bomb at Courier. Uh, play Bomb at Courier. Here they come! <laughs> uh, exile some cards. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh, this draw. About it. Mountain. Is our opponent playing burn or eight whack? All right, it's eight whack. There's loyalist. Opponent. Gets in, gets in. Top card. Wizard's lightning. All right, that's something. Down to 15. Opponent passes. I'll play the mountain. Play get to Lava Runner. Go to combat. Attack with everything. I think our opponent has a bolt and they're trying to figure out what to do with it. We also have to figure that out. Like if they try to kill this bomb at courier, we can wizard's lightning something. All right. Opponent's trying to figure out if it's worth it. All right. Opponent lets it go. Exile, exile, exile. Hit our opponent. And yeah, let's just pass. I think leaving up mana for Bomat Courier. Uh, all right. Is better than running out this Lava Runner. Mountain. Well, let's see what our opponent's got. Bushwhacker. All right. Opponent's going to get in some damage. Hits us for four. Sure. Down to 11. And passes. We draw a mountain. Well, play the mountain. Play Lava Runner. Go to combat. Get in with all of our Bomat Couriers. Exile, exile, exile. Hit our opponent. And then I think we are going to sack one Bomat Courier. So sacrifice the big Bomat Courier. Draw four. Ooh, Gushot is pretty sweet here. Let's 
Play Souls Guard May. Pass the turn. We want to be aware of going below 10. If we get to 10, our opponent can double Goblin Grenade us. So we want to be aware of that possibility, which makes hard casting Gut Shot a little risky. Opponent, mount in. Right now, our 1-2s are actually <laughs> locking down the 1-1s. Uh, all right. I guess we're doing this. Goblin Grenade, Goblin Grenade, Lightning Bolt would kill us. But this means our opponent can't have that. I guess Goblin Grenade Bolt Bolt would do it. All right, opponent passing. Well, we just got to win the game. So play the mountain. Lightning Bolt our opponent's face. Down to seven. All right, opponent Bolt Soul Scar Mage. So hit our opponent to seven. Uh, let's just go to combat. I think we're just going to double crack Bomat Couriers. Because if we hit any bolt effect, we win. So opponent goes to four. So sack a Bomat Courier. We have 12 bolts. We got to hit one of them. All right, there's a bolt. Lighty bolt, our opponent's phase. And uh, take it out, 8 whack. Man, maybe this is better 8 whack. Maybe just 12 lightning bolts and flame McKeld is better better than 8 whack. All right, so opponent's playing 8 whack goblins. Goblet Shade Whirler is probably our best card. Spite of Mogus would give us more removal, but I don't think we actually need more removal. Young Pyromancer offers an interesting ability to go wide. I don't know how many cards we can cut, though. I think while Bomat Courier was great that game, I don't actually think it's that good overall. Because it gets blocked by all of our opponent's stuff, so I think we're actually going to cut Bomat Couriers. At least a couple of them, especially on the draw. Maybe we actually cut all the Bomat Couriers and bring in the Young Pyromancers. It seems so strange because we just absolutely dominated a game thanks to Bomat Courier and drawing three of them, but I think that it's actually correct to cut them in this matchup. Yeah, all right. I think our biggest advantage in this matchup is we have all these random two toughness creatures. All right, Goblin Guide. Here it comes. Well, it gets it. Wizards Lightning on top. Well, play the mountain. Awkward. Yeah, let's just pass. Leave up our our lightning bolt. Don't it. Mountain. So many Goblin Guides. And a Legion Loyalist. Yep. Well, here they come. What do we got on top? I guess a land isn't bad. All right, there's a land and a land. Well, let's bolt a goblin guide. Take three. Wizard would be, ooh, chain whirler. Well, play swift spear, play swift spear. Pass the turn. I think we're kind of the control at the moment, as weird as that sounds. Mog fanatic and bushwhacker and bushwhacker. Well, here they come, here they come. Opponent gets it. Uh, yeah, we're going to soak up as much damage as possible. Down to 10. But now we get to untap, play Chain Whirler. Yeah, opponent pings us. Pass the turn. Well, we're kind of stable at 9, and we have a lot of good cards left in hand. We might be okay. Goblin Guide. All right. No attacks. Opponent passes. We draw a mountain. Well, play the mountain. Play Grim Lava Mancer. Pass the turn. We're just going to leave up full... Hmm. Ugh. All right. Fanatic. Well, let's... Wizard's Lightning, a Goblin Guide. So now this turn, we can pretty much max value Flame of the Keld. Opponent. Passing. Ooh, Lava Runner 2. Well, play Lava Runner. Play the mountain. Play Flame of the Keld. Discard Fiery Temper. Kill Goblin Guide. And, I mean, I guess we've turned the corner. Yeah, I mean, maybe we take some hasty damage, but hit our opponent down to 40. And we get to draw three next turn. I wouldn't be surprised if our opponent had one Goblin Grenade in hand. That's a card that's best when it's actually winning the game. Hitting us to four doesn't do much. Ooh, Burning Tree. Do they have a Bushwhacker? All right, no Bushwhacker. Opponent passes. So we get to draw a bunch of cards. Well, um... Yeah, let's start with looting. Discard Lava Runner. Discard Ugh. Wizard's Lightning. Play Swift Spear. Bolt Burning Tree. Hit our opponent to seven. And well now our opponent needs something pretty good. We have lethal for next turn. Even without the flame of Keld. Bonet. 
And we got the GGs. Oh man, maybe this is better, better eight rack. Eight, not eight rack, eight whack. Cause that felt pretty good. That felt really good. Man, this deck is sweet. All right, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some Wealth Bolt in modern. And uh, yeah, we'll keep it. Only one land, but we have Faithful Suiting if we want another one. And let's see. <laughs> Three bolts, two one drops, Faithful Suiting land. Seems fine. Stomping grounds for opponent, tapped. Well, mountain, and I guess we're gonna bow Matt Courier. Get in, four one. Pass the turn. Four is for our opponent. All right, a braids, bow Matt Courier. And passes. There's a mountain. Well, play the mountain. Play Monastery Swift Spear. Play Grim Lava Mancer. Get in with Swift Spear. This lets us at least have one free discard next turn of Fiery Temper off the Faithless Suiting. If we draw another land, we can discard both, which is awesome. Wooded Foothills. Utopia Sprawl. Ugh. Is this Ponza? Ugh. Okay. Well, we kind of wouldn't mind just drawing a land. Bomb at Courier. Well, Faithless Looting. Drawn Discard. Pitch, Fiery Temper, and I guess Gut Shot. <laughs> Madness, Fiery Temper. We didn't hit another land, unfortunately. Opponent down to 15. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. All right, Cracks down to 14. Stomping rounds, tapped. Yep, down to 10. Pass the turn. Well, let's see how quickly they can play Inferno Titan. Ooh, Blood Braid. Into Arbor Elf. Yep. All right. Well, now I kind of wish we kept the the gut shot for that Arbor Elf. Wizard's Lightning. Well, Wizard's Lightning, Blood Braid. Get in with Swift Spear. Lava Mancer, Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. We can't let the Arbor Elf live because then that lets an Inferno Titan come down. Ooh, Blood Braid. Okay. <laughs> Instant replay. Blood Braid, Arbor Elf. Kazakh Wolf Run. Bought it. Passes. Well, Mountain's not bad. Play the Mountain. Play Swift Spear. Wizard's Lightning. Blood Braid. Um, actually, let's go attacking. Our opponent might feel like they have to block. Because, in theory, they're dead to a Lightning Bolt. All right. Uh... Okay, opponent takes it. Hmm. <laughs> well, now I guess we just let them cast. Yeah. Now we'll just let them cast Inferno Titan. They cast Inferno Titan, Lava Mancer their face, and then we win with Fiery Temper. Inferno Titan. Yep. Well, Lava Mancer, opponent's face. Down to two. Opponent passes. And yeah, we just got it. I mean, Fiery Temple is just lethal. Uh, all right. Should we do it the cool, the cool way? Eh, let's just be friendly. <laughs> we could have played in Sagged uh, Bobat Courier <laughs> to madness it, but we'll we'll do it this way. It's fine. Found it. Scoops it up. All right. Uh, so we're playing against Inferno Titans. Good news is we can kill their early game dorks. This deck actually feels very strong. Yeah, Damping Sphere does nothing. Our one drops are pretty good. Copter might be okay. Although it still dies to Lightning Bolt. I guess we could just run it back. I don't know about this Insult. Let's go down Insult, up Smuggler's Copter. Try it like that. Uh, okay. We'll try this. Lots of Faithless Looting. What did Foot Hills? Pony Cracks. Forest. You tell me a sprawl. On red. Opponent passes. Well, mountain. Bomb at courier. Start attacking. Hit our opponent down to 18. And yeah, ship the turn. I wonder if our opponent sideboarded out most of their land destruction. You would kind of assume so. Opponent passes. Well, play a mountain. Anger of the gods could be a thing. Hmm. Well, let's Swift Spear and Faithless Looting. Discard Looting. Discard Bomb at Courier. Go to combat. Get in. 
This gives us a pretty decent chance to recover after an Anger of the Gods. All right, Forest, Blood Braid, Into Birds. Yep. Opponent, Passing. Well, <sighs> Lightning Bolt, Blood Braid. Play a land, play Lava Runner, go attacking. Mm, yep, kill birds. <laughs> we'll see. We spent a lot of bolts on creatures. Opponents down to nine. This is a big turn. If we get to refill our hand with this Bowmat Courier, it's pretty good. All right, Obstinate Bailoth. That gains our opponent some life. Opponent passes. Oh, play the Mountain, play Bowmat Courier. Go to combat. Attack, attack, attack. We're going to trust that we hit a bolt off this Bowmat Courier. Yeah, opponent blocks. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, let it go. Sack Bowmat Courier. Wizards Lightning the Bayloth. Play Swift Spear. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks down to nine. We're close. Uh, this is Inferno Titan mana. That is Inferno Titan. Kills two of our creatures, and now we might just be too slow. We're going to need to hit a lot of bolts. Well, Faithless Looting, Fiery Temper is a start. Faithless Looting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Three Fiery Tempers in a row. Hit our opponent. Fiery Temper. Hit our opponent. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. All right. I mean, we got another one in hand. Our opponent shouldn't be able to kill us this turn. Tireless Tracker. They need life gain, like a Bayloth. Gets a clue. Gets it. Yep. Kills Lava Runner. Hits us. 12 Bolt. It's coming through. Oh, man. That was a great FIFA looting. Opponent cracks a clue. Sure. Pumps. Pumps. Opponent passes. Well, let's FIFA looting. Oh, <laughs> so close with the... So close with the gut shots. Well, we might as well cast them. <laughs> gut shot. And we got the GG's. <laughs> gut shot. <laughs> I couldn't resist. It would have been sweet if we could have gut shot all the way, but we'll, we'll take it. Uh, 12 volt. Take it out, Panza. And uh, this deck's legit. This deck is super legit. All right, sweet. So what did we learn this week about 12 bolt red in modern? And the deck felt great. I mean, we cruised through just crushing everyone to a 5-0. I think maybe we dropped like a game along the way, but the deck just felt very, very strong. It has the ability to win quickly, but the endless lightning bolts and flame Akeld and faithless looting give it this kind of late game resilience that other burn decks don't really have. Like even when things go wrong and our opponent sweeps away our board or deals with our stuff, there's always another lightning bolt to find and having flame Akelds and having faithless lootings means that our odds of finding them are actually pretty reasonable. So I think that 12 bolt moves up in the rankings of starter modern decks. I think that this is one of the better budget starter decks that you can get for the entire format. Right on the same level as something like 8-Wack, which has traditionally been my go-to, but I think at this deck, it is kind of like the burn deck we played a long time ago, except it beats things that the burn deck didn't, like Leyline of Sanctity and decks that have weird life gain effects. The deck just felt really, really strong. The creatures are good. The lightning bolts are insane. F the flame of Keld is surprisingly effective. The only card I was not that impressed with was insult to injury. The gut shots were better than you'd think, although they are matchup dependent, but with faithless looting and the flame of the Keld, it's not that bad because we can always discard them, but I would consider gut shot and insult to injury kind of the flex slots. Otherwise, all the spells have a purpose. They're all turning our burn spells into lightning bolts and being good even without out the lightning bolts the sideboard was strong just all around 12 bolt feels like a very legit deck in the format the other nice thing about this deck is you don't really have to go crazy with upgrading like you can turn tormod script into like relic of progenitus but there isn't a ton of expensive upgrades to do like if i was gonna play 12 bolt 
at a GP, I would probably change maybe 10 or 15, maybe $20 worth of cards at the most and just go with it. So you're getting not just a strong deck, but a deck that is already fairly optimized for tournament level play. And then if you do decide that you want to go more expensive, you can always add in fetch lands to like power up Grim Lava Mancer, even splash into another color if you wanted to and head towards Naya Burn. But I don't even think that's necessary. Just all the lightning bolts, all the cards we have in the deck felt really really good, worked really well, we hardly lost a game along the way, so if you want a competitive, like, try to win your FNM, try to compete at a GP or something, level budget magic deck, I think that 12 Bolt is shooting up the rankings. Is it better than 8 Whack? That I'm not 100% sure, but I would definitely put this in that same tier, the top of the top tier, as far as I want a budget deck that can win a GP, or can win some other level tournament, I think this is about as good as it gets for the format. Plus, Plus, you get the added benefit of having some standard cards or rotating standard cards. If you've been playing Bomb at Couriers and Soul Scar Mages and Flame of the Cows and get to Lava Runners, it's like mostly a standard deck. More than half of the non-lands, I think, are standard legal or are just about to rotate. So you probably already have most of these cards in your collection. Like, the deck is already built and it's competitive in modern. So while probably not the spiciest budget magic deck we've played, I think 12 Bolt is one of the best budget magic decks we've played and it's super cheap, especially if you have standard cards. So all around, deck is solid, heavily recommended. You can definitely compete with it with very minimal upgrades. Anyway, that's been our budget magic for this week. 12 volt red for modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.